Hello everyone. So we are here with the session on leadership. Now, if I talk about leadership in last uh, session, we have discussed about the influence and leadership, like how influence is connected with the leadership and how leadership is something which is very important. Now in today's session, we are going to talk about situational leadership. You are seeing a figure right in front of you. What do you understand by this figure, by this uh, quadrant that the circle is divided into four different quadrants? Why it is divided? What is the use of that? What do you understand by those things? Just wait. There are very four simple things which are mentioned over there. That is telling, selling, participating, delegating. Okay, before you think about uh, these things, let me tell you what is situational leadership all about. It is a leadership which helps you to select one out of these four leadership styles which will provide you the highest probability of success in each and every situation, depending upon the situation in which a leader is, depending upon the situation which the leader is going to face, a person has to decide that which leadership style out of these four, he or she is going to select. The decision of selecting the specific leadership style is going to help the people, help the leader to get the best productivity from the team members, from the team. Because ultimately, if we talk about the goal of the leader, what is the ultimate goal of the leader? What is the ultimate thing which a leader is expected to do? And what is the ultimate thing which a leader to that is keeping the team the members of the team highly productive that is the first thing on which a leader focuses on that my team should be highly productive my team need my team should give the best possible result that is what a team, a leader looks for. And that is why we always appoint a leader or a manager to handle the group of people because we believe that he or she is going to take care that the team remains productive. So this is the situational leadership. So what exactly the situational leadership is giving? It is giving you four choices. Out of these four choices, you just have to select the one best possible choice for you, which will help you to get the best possible results, to get the best results from your team. So what do you think? Which is the best possible thing or why we have given this as the name of situational leadership? Why we are calling it as situational leadership? We're calling it as situational leadership because here it has given us four different situations. That in these four different situations, how a person is going to react, how a person is going to work when he or she is going to go from these different situations so what exactly he or she is going to do so that is why we have given this as a name of situational leadership so now when we're talking about situational leadership there are four different situations so these all situations are the functions of the task that need to be uh, performed. So these are the functions uh, related to the specific task that for this specific task, this function need to be performed. For this specific task, this specific thing has to be performed. So these are the, these are basically the 
different tasks which are being given to you and on basis of that you have to select the right function for you as per the requirement that what you want the other person to perform so based on these objectives the assessment of these parameters and with the responsibility of the successful and effective influencer the follower or the leader or the manager respond to the situation with one of the four leadership style so basically these are the different leadership styles which the person focuses on these are the different leadership style which the person uh uses to deliver the to get the team deliver the best and the productive results so in situational leadership basically we are going to discuss about four different things four different situation four different types of styles which comes under this leadership that is telling leadership style when to tell when to sell when to participate and when to delegate these are the things these are the arts which you know each and every leader should know that when he is going to tell the people what is to be done when he is going to direct them when he is going to delegate the work when he is going to participate with them so these are the different four leadership style so before we go to the uh, four different leadership style we'll just talk about those styles are operationally when we are talking about these four styles no operationally these four styles are divided into two things that is task and directive behavior and relationship and support behavior so what is the task and directive behavior what do you understand by the term that is task and directive behavior what do you understand by this term so the task and the directive behavior means the extent to which the leader tells the follower what to do how to do where it needs to be done and when it is to be done so if you remember when we were talking about the four quadrants of situational leadership style there we have discussed about these things we have discussed about the telling leadership style that when he is going to tell them what is to be done so when we are talking about task and directive behavior it is focusing on up to which extent up to what level the leader is going to tell the followers you know the though the leader is sitting but leader is not there in the organization to spoon feed the followers So they'll tell them that after A B will come, after B C will come, after C D will come. No, he's he is there to guide them, to help them if they're stuck somewhere, and he's there to act as a link between the management, the top authorities, and the uh, employees to communicate what the management want them to do. So basically. it is related to the extent to which the leader is going to tell you know leader is not going to tell each and everything he is not going to plan out each and everything in detail that okay this is what you have to do this is how you have to do this is your responsibility these are your roles he is not going to tell each and everything there are few things which you will have to find out yourself he'll tell you the task he'll give you the outline of the task he'll tell you the deadline of the task he'll tell you what the project or the task is all about but he is not going to tell you how you have to do it no so that is what under the task and behavioral leadership style it is going to tell you up to what extent the leader is going to tell the followers the team members that what to do what they have to do how they have to do and where it needs to be done and when it needs to be completed so let's say the overall task deadline is after 2 months 
and the task, the project is divided into four different tasks. So he's not going to tell them that when these this first task is going to get completed, what's the deadline for second task? No, he will just tell them the deadline for the entire project. The two months is the deadline for the entire project. Now it's on the team to decide and to give the individual deadline to all four different tasks. That is not the work of the leader. Yes, if you're stuck somewhere, if you are unable to calculate that how much time will a specific task take, that is okay, that is understandable, but not every time. So it is very important for you to decide that how much time a specific task is going to take. Relation, uh, the next is the relationship support or the supportive behavior. The extent to which the leader engaged in open dialogue with the followers. Now the leader is directly engaging with the open dialogue. He's directly talking to the, lead, uh, to the followers. He's giving them the platform to open up. He's actively listening. He's providing the recognition, reinforcements for the task-related progress. So up to what extent? The leader is going to be engaged in this. Up to what extent the leader is going to spend his time, his energy, devote himself for these activities. He cannot be there for all the uh, five days a week, nine hours a day to listen to what the people, what the followers are saying. But yes, he need to be there. He need to be approachable as and when the leader require their help. So for that, a level, a need, you know, a extent, a limit has to be set that up to which extent you're expecting your leader is going to listen or what is the, uh, what is the limit which your leader yourself has set for you. That is what is known as relationship and the support behavior like how up to what extent you're going to maintain the leader is going to maintain or build a relation with you up to what extent he's going to provide his uh, support to you for the work which is to be done so all these things need to be decided all these things have to be thought on discussed upon and have to be decided very properly so this is those uh, like those four quadrants are divided into two different things that is task and directive behavior and the relationship and the support behavior. So now we are going to start with the styles of situational, the different styles of situational leadership style. So basically there are four different styles that is telling style, selling style, participating style and delegating style. So let's talk about the style one that is telling, directing, or guiding. Telling is a entirely big thing where you just not only tell them what is to be done, you direct them. At times, you guide them. You help them that, okay, these are the things which are to be done. These are the things which you have to accomplish, which are to be accomplished. So all these things comes under the first leadership style, first situational leadership style that is telling, directing, and guiding. The telling leadership style is a high task behavior, low relationship behavior approach to leadership that helps followers who are both intimidated and inexperienced with the task they are responsible to perform. So where basically this telling, directing, guiding leadership style is going to be used. So what do you think? Where basically we are going to use these styles? We are going to use these styles where you think that the team members, the followers, are new, they are inexperienced, they are the freshers, they are completely unaware about the task. So just think, if you hire a new person in the team, 
And if you expect that without giving them the proper training, can they start doing their work? Can they achieve the goals of the organization? Can they achieve the task of the organization? No, they cannot do that. So here, whenever a leader is going to see that my followers are new, my followers are the one who are intimidated, who are inexperienced with the task, they're going to need my support, they're going to need my help that time. This telling leadership style is adopted by the leader. But here it is one more thing it is focusing on the telling leadership style is a high task behavior. You know what it means here under this leadership style, the leader do not focus on maintaining or building the relationship with the people. It is not behavioral approach. It is not the behavioral approach, relationship approach, which the leader is adopting. It is just the high task behavior approach. That is, it is specifically related to the task, a specific professional leader who is there, who just wants you to accomplish the task on time, effectively, efficiently, and by giving the best of your productivity so for that purpose for that reason only he provide his support guidance to those people whom he think who are both intimidated or who are inexperienced with the task they are responsible to perform let's say a person is having two years of experience but he's not carrying the experience in the project in the field in which he is uh, he is hired now so there he is going to require your support he is going to require your directions your guidance to do that work and these leaders are so task behavioral specific that so task specific that they want the team the followers to deliver the best and that to within the time deadlines and that is why we say that this telling directing guiding the first leadership style is a high task behavior style not the relationship behavior here the leader is least bothered about maintaining the relation he's not focusing on maintaining or building any kind of relation with any person he's not focusing on doing that his only focus is getting the work done and that too on time. So a leader who employs this style of leadership is highly focused on providing the directions necessary regarding what need to be done. So this kind of leader is very highly focused on providing the direction that, okay, these are the directions, these are the things which you have to do, which you need to do. So it, it they, as well as the detailed account of how it is to be done, to be accomplished. They give each and everything, each and every minute detail, explain each and every minute detail, prepare the entire plan that what is to be done, how it is to be done, when it is to be done, who is going to do that. They prepare the entire detail plan for them because they focus on delivering the high results. And the focus of delivering the high result is something which forces them to take all the necessary measures regarding what needs to be done. They'll do each and everything, whatever is required to make their team deliver the best. They, put, they take into consideration all the necessary and the possible steps. So basically, you can say that you design the entire plan of what is to be done, how it is to be done, when it is to be done, who is going to do that, 
by what means it is to be done, the way of doing the work, everything has been spoon feeded because they only want the task to be done. They do not want any kind of avoidance, any kind of negligency in their task. They do not want that their team to fail in delivering the task productively and on time. So the leader makes decisions surrounding the timely completion of the task. So what is what the leader is doing? The leader is making the decision surrounding the timely completion that, okay, I'm going to complete the task on time. I'm going to finish up the task on time and provide the followers with the benefit of his or her experience in that regard. So what he's doing, he's providing the followers with all the possible benefits with his experience which he has gained till now he's using all his experience all his knowledge to provide the support and guidance to the team so that they can deliver the best results the next point says when the follower implements that guidance, the leader need to be close by in order to provide recognition and reinforcement for tangible process. So yes, when the follower is implementing the guidance, when the follower is accepting your guidance, is moving, he or she is moving as per your guidance. So it is now the duty of the leader to reinforce them for their tangible progress, which they can see, or to recognize them, to appreciate them for the work which they have done. Because to keep the more, uh, productivity of the employees high, to keep their morale high, to keep them motivated, to keep them moving forward, it is important that they are being motivated, they have been recognized and reinforced for the work, for the tangible progress which they have achieved by the guidance of the leader. So in short, we can say that they always want to get that recognition for the work which they have done under this leadership style. What does a telling leadership style look like? What do you think, what does it look like? What the leader do under this leadership style? We have discussed so many things in detail about this leadership style. So what do you think? What does this leadership look like? What does this leadership offers? What is this leadership offering? So the leader provides specific who, what, where, when, how. What does this mean? Provide specific who, what, where, when, how. This means the leader is providing them these specific instructions, specific guidance that what is to be done, when it is to be done, how it is to be done, where it is to be done, and who is going to do that. Everything has been planned in detail. So you can say here, under this leadership style, the people are not getting the chance to showcase their productivity, their innovativity, productivity, uh, sorry, innovativity, creativity is not being valued under this leadership style. Because when you will get everything well planned from the leader and you just have to follow whatever plan the leader has made, how you are going to show your creativity, how you are going to show your own expert knowledge. You cannot show your own expert knowledge. You cannot show your creativity because you have been directed, you have been given all the specific things of what to do, how to do, when to do, where to do, who will do in written clearly. Second point says defines the actions to be taken. It also defines that what are the actions which are required to be taken. It is mostly of talking, one-way communication. What do you mean by one-way communication? What is one-way communication? Well, one-way communication means that only the leader has been given the opportunity to speak. The followers 
the team members have are not given the opportunity to share their idea to be the part of the decision making process to plan out the things to share their creativity to work in their own way there is no one who's going to listen that can we do this way can we adopt this way of doing no no one is going to listen to them because it is just the one way communication which is happening under telling a leadership style because the leader is defining is telling all the things by giving specific and clear instruction about the task everything is being designed written very clearly very specifically so when everything is done just think when you know that uh, the dates have been decided these are the dates when the exam is going to take place this has been decided by the principal so what is happening being the faculty being the hod of the department have you been given the opportunity have you been given the chance to present your views to tell them okay can we start the exams from this date can we postpone the exam can we change the schedule did she give you that opportunity just saying you are the hodis so you didn't got that opportunity that means here it's not about what you think what you believe what you want no one is there to listen to you it is only one sided communication one way communication that is flowing that is from the leaders and only the next is does most uh, make decision who makes the decision when we're talking about the uh, telling leadership style what do you think who is going to make the decision who is making the decision yes obviously it's a leader who is going to make the decision because it's one way communication and in the previous sentence in the previous points we have discussed that it's the leader who is speaking who is telling everything so definitely when it comes to making the decision taking the decision it is the it is only the leader who makes the decision who takes the decision who decides what is to be done when closely supervise and ask clarity question so here these kind of leaders who adopt the telling leadership style they do micromanagement micromanagement means they closely supervise that what each and every person is doing what is the task they are doing how much they have accomplished if they have changed their way why they have changed their way so he just micromanage he just put his nose in each and everything whatever the other person is doing they do not give any space to the other person to perform the task in their own specific way it's not giving them the opportunity it's not allowing them to ask the question rather he himself is asking the question clarifying the question and putting forward the question so that's why it is known as telling leadership style so these are the things from the leader's perspective now let's see what are the key indicators when to use a telling leadership style now you are selecting telling leadership style you think everything is to be done in a proper way okay that is acceptable but what are the indicators what do you think why uh, i am using this telling uh, leadership style or when i should use this telling leadership style yes so what are the key indicators of when to use a telling leadership style the key indicators of using the telling leadership style is the individual is not currently performing the task at an acceptable level when they see that uh, the task is been given to an individual but the performance of the individual is not up to the mark the performance of the individual is very low so at that point of time you the leader think of using the performing lead uh, telling leadership style so that uh, you know why they are using this specific leadership style for these individual so that they can increase their productivity they can help them to improve their uh, performance 
their efficiency and that is the reason why if they find any employee who is not performing up to the mark who is not performing the task at a certain acceptable level the levels which have been set in by the organization then they prefer going with the telling leadership style second is is noticeably intimidated by the task what do you mean by the word intimidated i don't think so it is a new word it means a leader is continuously observing that the person is afraid of doing the task the person is afraid of this task then at that point of time when he noticed that the person is afraid he is fearing of doing the task then he comes with the telling leadership style to boost that confidence to build that confidence in that person so that is again the another reason why we go with this telling leadership style is unclear about what to do let's say there are many people who want to do the work but they are not sure that what their work is they want someone to come someone to guide them someone to spoon feed them okay this is the task you have to do uh, this is how you have to do so if the leader observe finds these kind of people who are not clear about that task who do not know what exactly is to be done from their end then again what he prefer he prefer going with the telling leadership style because ultimately you know uh, he is a leader by hook or by crook he has to get the work done whether by giving them the freedom to do the work or by asking them to do the work as per the direction as per the instruction provided by him so by whatever means you say but yes you will have to the leader will have to make sure that the team is being productive so if he thinks that uh, the leader is the person the follower is not clear about what to do he'll go with telling leadership style procrastinate what is procrastination procrastination means a person simply having an habit of delaying the things continuously delaying the things that okay i'll do it today i'll do it tomorrow tomorrow is again tomorrow another tomorrow another tomorrow and the tomorrow never ends and these leaders observe that these people are not delivering the work they are simply finding out the ways finding out the reasons by which they can simply postpone the task to a new date they can simply postpone the work to a new day that is procrastination and no one likes things being procrastinated so that again becomes one of the reason that the leader comes up takes the lead and tell the people with the specific deadline designing everything each and everything for them so that people stop procrastinating people stop doing procrastination and they get back they start doing the work avoid the task you know there are lot of different types of people we are you are going to find in the organization many different types of people some will delay the work some will be not clear about the work someone will behave that okay what is to be done i don't know how it is to be done and some are just great they just avoid doing the task they find so many different reasons so that they can simply avoid finishing of that task so if they find a person who is focusing on avoiding the task then again they adopt the telling leadership style and the last is becomes defensive when asked about the task so person who becomes defensive who start defending that why the work was not completed how much it is accomplished so the person starts defending himself that uh, okay the work is not completed only this much of the work is, is completed so what does they do they finally decide that 
let me take the charge let me ask them to do the work as per my instructions so that they do not be defensive they'll meet the deadlines whatever the deadlines are being given to them so this telling leadership style is not the style which leader choose for himself rather it is a style which the leader has been forced to choose because of the indication most of the indication they get from the individual because ultimately being the leader it is the whole and sole responsibility of the leader to get the work done to deliver the task on time so when we are talking about delivering the task on time when we are talking about doing the work on time it becomes very very important that we just focus on how we are going to deliver what necessary steps even it requires telling leadership style be uh, spoon feeding the people for some time they adopt that style because these are the task oriented leader they are not the behavioral oriented leader that they just want to maintain relation they just focus on delivering the work right on time so with this we have come to the end of today's session of leadership now the other three styles which we have just discussed that uh, we uh, the names which we have just read that is selling participating and delegating these leadership styles which we are going to study in the next session of leadership if you have any, have any doubt till here you can ask any doubts no okay so we are done with this session bye bye have a wonderful day